exclusive look inside the $15 million mansion of Prince Harry and Meghan. What is it about royalty that fascinates people? For some, it's the mystery, while for others, it's the element of surprise. Meghan and Harry have done a lot to uncover the British monarchy's inner workings and reveal that royal life isn't all that it's cracked up to be. But, if anything, this has only increased interest among their fans. Their fans are curious and eager to know what's happening in their lives. Where do they live? And how luxurious is their house? Hey and welcome back to another amazing video. Do you know where Prince Harry, as well as Meghan, moved to? What kind of comfort and luxury are they experiencing in their new home? Let's find out that and much more in today's video. But first, before we go on with today's video, a sub to the channel would be very appreciated. Comment, share the video, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up for the video. And without further ado, let's get started. The coolest royal couple has moved to a lovely estate in Montecito, Santa Barbara, after stepping back from formal duties and making America their home. Montecito, which faces the ocean and is backed by the California mountains, the place is known for its peaceful environment and is home to a health-conscious community that enjoys the outdoors. Overall, it's no surprise that Harry and Meghan chose the coastal refuge to raise their small family, allowing son Archie and daughter Lilibet to grow up in peace. The ex-royals paid $14.7 million for the Italian villa in California this summer. Before they allegedly moved in with baby Archie, Images of the interior were posted on the rental site. The villa is decorated with arches and foliage on the outside and dark wood accents and out-of-style furniture on the inside. With views of the Pacific and Santa Inez Mountains, the pink mansion rises among rose gardens and beautiful green lawns. One estate agent characterized the oceanfront mansion as a secret paradise, adding that it was built for someone who never wants to go home. Over the last three weeks, Harry, 36, and Meghan, 39, have used this not-so-humble residence to make countless virtual addresses. Meghan had six digital appearances in October, including her first podcast, which she recorded over the weekend. After staying at Tyler Perry's $18 million safe haven home in Beverly Hills, which has 12 bedrooms and 8 bathrooms, the couple moved to Montecito. They now enjoy acres of land, perfectly manicured hedges, and stone-pillared entry gates at a property that took five years to design. The magnificent American mansion has nine bedrooms and 19 bathrooms in all. According to reports, there's also a separate guest house with two bedrooms and two bathrooms, which Harry and Meghan will undoubtedly use for other family members, particularly Meghan's mother, Doria, who lives nearby in Los Angeles and will likely spend more time there once her new grandchild is born. The main residence has wooden accents and earth-toned decor on the inside. A lengthy dining room, marble bathroom, and at-home cinema complement the enormous living area, which is centered around a stone fireplace and wraparound bookshelves. A wooden beamed ceiling, an ensuite bathroom, and access to a private terrace with an ivy-colored pergola characterize the country-style master suite. And that's not all. There's also a library, office, spa, sauna, gym, and a stripper pole, as well as a game room, arcade, cinema, wine cellar, and five-car garage. The stunning property's entry leads to a broad lane paved with hand-cut Santa Barbara stone. A beach club membership is also included with the property. The expansive property also boasts a tea house and a children's cottage, as well as an extensive play area that stands within the mansion's beautifully manicured grounds ideal for keeping one-year-old Archie entertained. A tiered rose garden, an outdoor deck, and a big swimming pool, all flanked by lovely olive and Italian cypress trees, make up the stunning backyard. The estate also has a full-size tennis court and a detached guest house, perfect for entertaining family and friends. The bedroom contains a huge bed, with two bedside tables on either side and a chase lounge at the end. And the bathroom has a white tub, a single sink, a shower, and a separate toilet cubicle. On one side of the dressing room is storage, and on the other is a seating area with two seats next to a window. The Duke and Duchess have two white armchairs, a matching sofa, 
and two wooden tables on the patio, which are accessed through double French doors with wooden frames. On her 40th birthday, the Duchess showed off her magnificent home office while launching a special initiative. Meghan sat at her rustic wooden desk in one of two cream dining room style chairs draped with a Hermes blanket, with a classic fireplace in full view behind her. Her spacious desk was filled with aesthetically beautiful objects in matching subdued tones, and the mother of two propped her laptop up to eye level with a stack of white books. Meghan and Harry also posted a video from a garden bench. There were trees, flowers, and well-kept grass on both sides. It's easy to see why the couple has referred to their home as a sanctuary in the past. While sitting on the grounds, the actual world may seem a long way. Prince Harry is said to have planted forget-me-not flowers in honor of his mother, Princess Diana. There are also tiered rose gardens, tall Italian cypress trees, blooming lavender, century-old olive trees, a tennis court, tea house, and children's cottage, a two-bath guest house, as well as a pool and a two-bedroom. Sergei Grishin, a Russian entrepreneur, is said to be the owner. He allegedly paid more than $25 million for the palatial property in 2009. Grishin then attempted to sell it for $34 million before accepting the substantial profit loss. He was also the former owner of the Scarface Home in Santa Barbara, which was featured in the 1983 film, but was sold for a third of its initial asking price in 2015 for $12.26 million. Speaking about Meghan and Harry's new home, estate agent Brett Bushbaum confessed that the house was incredible as the entire bottom floor felt like a resort to him, and that was only the basement. In addition to Meghan's pal Oprah Winfrey and her colleague TV star Ellen, Montecito is home to a slew of famous and wealthy neighbors, along with golf icon Fred Couples and tennis champions Mike Bryan and Jimmy Connors, Bruce Willis, Tom Cruise, John Cleese, John Travolta, Owen Wilson, and Stephen Martin live nearby. Nevertheless, Prince Harry and Meghan have stated that they're excited to get started with the Archwell Foundation, which will replace the Sussex royal brand. As part of their new endeavor, the couple also wants to establish a charity and a website. The Greek term in the project was revealed by Harry and Meghan. Their son's name, Archie Mountbatten Windsor, was inspired by the word arch, which means source of action. Anyway, we wish them all the best in their new endeavor. And so far, we can confess that their new home is luxurious. But we won't be surprised if they move out to a more luxurious mansion only time will tell. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Do you think the house is luxurious enough for a prince? Would you pay a price to visit them? Comment below. Let's engage. Also, please leave a like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for more amazing videos. Goodbye, friends. See you in the next video.